Hello and welcome to the channel, I'm Ascent Forces and today I'll be showing you how to edit your save data in Animal Crossing New Leaf on Semu Emulator. So let's get started. So first of all what you want to do is actually um, go on this site right here. It's just um, oh everything will be linked down in the description. So this is the Animal Crossing save editor and you actually have to download your garden data. Um, right here, as you can see. And where you're actually gonna find that is um, in your app data folder. So you're gonna wanna go to users, send your name, slash app data, slash roaming, slash citra, SDMC, Nintendo 3DS. You click on that. You're gonna wanna go to this first extension, click it again, title. And then you're gonna wanna go down and find your Animal Crossing save data, which should actually be, um... It's different for each user, but generally speaking, um... The number sequence is usually the same. So this right here is a new leaf. And this is a Amiibo Festival, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. So this is a Amiibo Festival, so the save data plus. Choose that. Bada bing, bada boom. And I'll show you guys how it works. I'll just give you guys a quick tutorial. And once you open it, you're brought to um, this page, and they'll show your map, all your players, your island, villagers, shop, everything else you want. You can have any item you want in the game. You can edit your map. You know, it's. Pretty, pretty cool. So, is this the part I actually kind of got um, stuck on? Because for some reason, for whatever reason, there is no actual tutorial out there on how to actually do this on an emulator, and you think so because, you know, most modifications happen on a PC. So I just wanted to make this video and like help you guys out a bit. So, Whenever you edit it, one of the issues I actually came across is actually getting it to work. So you see this right here, this is an issue. Show in folder. You can see right here, it says garden plus, garden plus dot. You know, it doesn't seem like a huge issue, but it is, trust. So, when the game starts up, when the game boots up, it's gonna call upon these files. And you actually need to delete this three right here. Delete that. Okay, make sure it's gone. Make it identical to the one that is usually found in your app data folder. And you want to remove the old one and put this new one in there. The name just has to be the exact same. There can't be any additional numbers. Do not worry about updated data or anything else. As long as you guys change the name and remove the old one, you should be good to go. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or concerns in the comments down below. And take care guys. Peace out.